Okay, so I'm going to walk you through the steps for how to make our um, eight-page uh, booklet for the final project. And so, again, uh, the sim simplest thing to keep in mind is that we're going to make this um, project in just eight pages. And so you want to go to File, New, Document, and you want to go ahead and pick, um, pick Document and create a new uh, sort of a brand new thing in there. And so we want to remember that we want to have eight pages. But what we're going to do is we're going to print those two pages a piece on a piece of paper. So we want to make sure that we can fit our each page uh, will fit onto our um, paper size. So I'm going to go ahead and print on 11 by 17 paper, which means I'm going to want to make sure that two pages, two of my pages that I'm setting up in this document will fit onto an uh, 11 by 17, which means that um, I'm probably going to need to keep the sizes a little bit smaller. So I'm going to go with an 8x8 eight eight book. So I'm going to type in 8 inches here. I'm going to type in 8. You have to make sure you type in the inches so that, that the uh, software knows that you're not using um, you know, points. So go ahead and, and click on that. And then uh, down here, you want to make sure that you adjust your margins. So we're just going to adjust our margins all the way out to like one point on this. And then we want to make sure we adjust our bleed. So I'm going to type in 0.125 inches again, right? And if I do that, it should convert all of these out. And you can see how it converts it from inches into points. But it doesn't matter as long as you kind of know what, you, what you've got going there. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and um, you know, I've got all these settings set up the way I want. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And that should bring up the document here. And it has nice sort of tight borders. And you can see that the bleed is this area that's outside of the paper size here. So if this is my page, that means the images are going to bleed out past that, which means that I can get nice, clean, uh, sharp lines. There won't be a white border kind of around the image. So once I have this set up, then I just need to go ahead and um, you want to go ahead and open up your pages palette, which would be over here. And we want to go ahead and um, start setting up kind of our master pages. So if you want to just click on uh, the first page that you're working on. If you want to go ahead and put some guides in, so I'm going to do that. I'm just going to drop a guide in right here again. And if you can't see these guides, you want to go up to, um, let's see, view and make sure that rulers, so hide or show rulers, make sure that it's showing your rulers. And then you can just click on the ruler area up here and drag a guide down. You can do the same thing here. And then another, another one here. And so a master page is just a way for you to set up kind of a template that you want all your other pages to kind of follow. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this down. I'll just give myself kind of a little header area here at about about that much of an area. So these guides will, if I want these guides to show up in every single one of my um, pages, I can go ahead and just drag this up here and that will make a, uh, that'll make a new master page. And so you can basically, uh, if you want to, you can just drag this master page down and it'll, you can put it on, you can apply it to your other pages. And so if you click on page three here, it'll have that B master. And if you apply it, if you check this one, it doesn't have the B master. It just has um, the original one that we created. So we're going to go ahead and add this B master page to every one of these pages and all eight pages of the book. And that, you could also have more than one kind of master page if you want to, if that's helpful. But these should all basically have this um, set of, guides that are built into it now. So now I'm set and I'm ready to kind of start placing things into my um, into my document. So in the next tutorial I'm going to show you how to kind of add mass, um, add um, uh, page numbers and things like that in there so that we can figure out which page number um, we're working on and all that kind of stuff as well. So but for now that's the intro. Make sure you follow these instructions. Your pages could be you know, five by 10, if you want to, they could be whatever size, but you have to remember again that it needs to fit onto, you need to fit two of them onto a piece of paper.